Welcome back. We've gone on for a bit about the equity markets. Just uh, keep an eye out on the India volatility index. That's now at 14. So with the markets moving higher, the WIX too has moved higher. So something that we will focus on. But let's talk about the commodity space now. Manisha, what's the commodity that you're tracking today? Well, I'm looking at the crude oil prices because yet another week where we are seeing constant declines come in for this one. Remember, it was almost between 96 to 98 dollars a barrel in the month of September. But since then, it has been a one-way slide coming in for the crude oil prices. The last two months have been on the weaker side and December hasn't started on a positive note either. One, there is doubts on the OPEC cuts at 2.2 million barrels per day. The voluntary cuts itself is at 1.5. So the remaining, which is less than a million dollars per barrel, markets believe that within that as well, you could be looking at lower cuts. Libya, one of the OPEC members, which is not part of the voluntary output cuts, is actually looking to increase production. Brazil, which also wants to get into OPEC, also wants to increase production. We already are looking at higher inventories from US. We also are looking at all-time high production from US. So the markets are looking at a bit of a surplus now building up for this quarter and the next as well. Add to that that the Chinese demand has been quite uneven and the Moody's cutting China outlook to negative does not do well for the enthusiasm or the confidence of the market. So you have seen profit-taking come in across industrial commodities commodities, including crude as well. The dollar index also has inched up a bit, trading at a two-week highs, and that's let some premium off the markets there. The markets also are looking at statements coming in from COP28, where the countries are now calling in for a formal phase-out of fossil fuels. And uh, if that actually goes on, and if there is more development and more statements coming in, could pressurize the crude oil prices further going down there. Saudi Arabia also for the first time in seven months has cut the Asian pricing for the month of January. This is the first, as I said, in seven months. And that is because the premium seems to be declining now in sense of demand and prices. And that tells you that the Asian demand also seems to be getting a hit there. The markets are also looking at a constant decline, not just in the case of the crude oil prices, but various crude products as well. So crude itself is down 6% in the last one week. But we also have seen a 4% decline in natural gas, 6% of a cut in heating oil. Gasoline prices have declined 5.5%. Percent. The only thing within the energy that, pre, that is trading in the positive is coal prices. That one is trading at a multi-month highs and a 5% of gains in the last one week. Okay. All right, uh, Manisha, thanks very much uh, for that.